In this video, I'm going to go through an example of using Kruskal's algorithm to find a minimum spanning tree. Now, because this network is quite small and there's not that many edges, what I'm going to do to really kind of show the process um, of using the algorithm is I'm going to write down all of the edges uh, in order of size. Okay, so we want to go from the smallest to the largest based on their weight. So the first one is DE. Now I can write ED if I want, but I'm going to write it this way around. It's perfectly fine to write ED. And then uh, next one is AE, or we've got BC. It doesn't matter which one I write down first. So I could write down uh, BC first or AE. Doesn't matter. And you can notice that I'm putting the weight in a bracket next to it. Okay, so you want to get into that habit. Then we've got sixes, so we've got AD and uh, BD. Again, doesn't matter which way around I write those. And then we've got the seven, so AB is seven. And then we've got the eight, CD. Okay, so let's just do a quick count up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, all good. Okay. So, the reason why I'm writing all of these down um, is so that you can see that choosing process of cross schools. If the network is large and you know there's loads of edges to deal with, it's probably not a good idea to try and write all of them down in order of size. Um, but you might want to consider writing the first few down just to kind of get yourself started. Um, and then see where you need to go from there, okay? So as long as you have the correct edges selected in the correct order, um, then everything will be okay, okay? So let's start off. Now we know with a minimum spanning tree, we need to connect all of the vertices and we want to make sure that there are no cycles, okay? So. What we do is we start from the top of the list and we work our way down. We start from the top and go, right, DE. If I select that edge, will it create a cycle? No, it doesn't. Okay, so that's fine. I will select DE and that will be my first edge. So I'm going to have that one. So next to it, I'm going to tick it. Okay, so that's one I want. Right, next one is AE. So I look at this and I go, right, AE is here. Now, does that create a cycle? No. Okay, so I'm happy with that. I'm going to shade that one in. AE, I can have. Right, how about BC? So BC is next. So this one over here, does that create a cycle? Well, no, there's no cycle yet. So I can have that one. That's all good. Right, then I've got AD of 6. Now, AD is this one, but that would create a cycle. So I don't want AD. Can't have that one, so I'm going to put a line through it. So a single line to go through it and just say, right, I don't want that one. Um, I think that's better than you just putting a cross next to it, okay? So it makes it clearer that you are discarding that one. Right, next one is BD, which is six. Now, will that create a cycle? No, but it will connect them together. So I'll have that one. And you can see that now A, B, C, D, and E are all connected. It is a connected graph. So I don't need these two edges. They, in fact, would create cycles. So I want to make sure I get rid of those. So the four edges that make up my minimum spanning tree are those four. So the minimum spanning tree, total weight is equal to, so four and six is 10, five and five is 10, so in total it's 20. So that's the total weight of the minimum spanning tree. Now you might also get asked to um, draw your minimum spanning tree okay so what you need to do is you might have to uh, get the points 
Okay, put the points up like so, something similar to how they are. So A, B, C, D, and E. And then you've got D, E, which is 4. You've got A, E, which is 5. You've got B, C, which is 5. And you've got B, D, which is 6. OK, so you want to make sure you draw it separately like I've done there. And that is your minimum spanning tree using Kruskal's algorithm.